Hi, everyone. What's up? It's Sunday. It's 1.10 p.m. It's 10 minutes later than I want it to be. Ian's here. Ian's here. Hello. Are you talking right now? I can't hear you. You can't hear me? Hello? Ian? This is a good bit. <laughs> it's very cruel considering the technical difficulties you just had. <laughs> yeah, my, um, so I, I woke last night, I was like, okay, tomorrow I'll do, like I was thinking Dwarf Fortress or something, and then today I woke up, and for some reason I wanted to play uh, Nintendo games. So I was like, oh, I'll use my Hyperkin cable to do my GameCube and my N64, and then the Hyperkin mm -hmm. cable didn't work. And... Mm -hmm. Um, so now it's zip mm -hmm. tied to work. Um, mm -hmm. That's a very melodic. You you just did two mm -hmm. mm hmms in a row that were very like. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> <laughs> he's creepy and he's kooky. Mm -hmm. oh, God. Okay, people can't hear my desktop yet. I'm in a mood, folks. Ian's in a mood. Flipping Arma stuff. Consider it. Clipped. Consider it clipped. Uh, I'm gonna. I didn't tweet or anything. Transition over to this. You guys can see mostly everything. Uh, let me grab my yeah. controller. Okay. This game? Very good. Why? Are you. Mm. Oh, I what? You can probably take use a different overlay if you want to. <laughs> no, I love this overlay. With the TV? No, I mean Great. with me. Oh, I, I don't think I have a version without you. Uh, I, I, let me uh -oh. check. I might. I, that's the only reason I put you there. TV's great. Well, it's a little off-center, but great. TV's a little off-center? Yeah, you see how the... The bezel is not equal all the way around. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, I know that. Uh, it's because I made this back when I was set on always doing 16.9 ish, like things. But I, I could easily squish this over, like the new stuff. Yeah, yeah. I could also just play this on the the wheel wheels of weird games one, which is a like uh, mm -hmm. Windows 3.1. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna do. Versus, do I have? Anyways, this is uh, Godzilla Destroy All Monsters. Um, game, I forget where I played it. I don't know if it was, it was either one of two two friends. And I, I think it was the kid who lived on my street, but it might have been, might have been my buddy who went to the same church as well. Um, this game is just dumb. Just a, arena fighting game oh see i was about to say the only thing that can make it bad is if it's a fighting game well it's not i mean it's just like i mean i guess i would call it a fighting game but it's not like street fighter fighting no just i mean like but stupid you had monsters it right. destroying a it's it's an arena world. fighter yeah it's good like i they, they just need to make a rampage game a 3d yeah. rampage game so there's a there's a godzilla game that came out coinciding with the movie it must have been the movie, but it's for PS4, and it's pretty much the same thing, but HD. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I remember seeing some footage of that. It's, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know if I bought it, or the person I bought the PS4 off of had it. It's like this really druggy guy <laughs> bought it from him. Oh no, I almost knocked him into the health. I want the health. Oh, did he not I got pick it up? That's weird. I think he was in front of it. Um, yeah, so I, I literally have a pile of GameCube and N64 games. And if we want, I can bring out my uh, Super Nintendo, or, yeah, Super Nintendo, since it works with this cable. Um, you know, this overlay, I feel like this overlay is a great idea, but I think the cameras should be CRT TVs as well. Yeah, I, it's like all flooding back into my head. I had, um, because I, I remember Karen helped me with this, and we were trying to think... Because I thought mini CRTs, but we we're trying to think of something at the time that people would also be on. 
and I, we were trying to like like so, instead of just making a small CRT, like what was something that someone's image was on? And I, oh, for a moment, yeah. I thought like picture frames, like we're in a like a living room. Um, so I I think it's just I'm trying to think of like Bond movies when they have the wall of TVs and it's just like it's just the the super convex screen and then the, like with a wood and in between the TVs is like a wood panel. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's the aesthetic. So it's not necessarily a TV, but it's like a CRT screen. Oh, I should have done the that Weather Channel test today. Throw that on. So you said you have that, and then I Googled, and I immediately found a modern version that runs off of a browser window. Yeah, so the, the one I have is like, uh, I only found, because they talked about it on the Bombcast quickly, and then it is yeah. specifically like the 90s one. Yeah. And it's like ultra customizable, but in a... Yeah, because I was thinking we could totally use that as, a, as an intro for something. Yeah. But yeah, I found one that is, it's basically the modern one. And you just enter your zip code. And it runs the full thing. Yeah, so like this one, I could, like, I don't, I can be super customized with that. Like, I could put in Jersey City, and I could put in where you are. I could put in where Zach is. And have it all <laughs> run. And then you can also upload all your own music. And, like, have a narrator. Is this... Is that Tokyo? The needle? Uh, Seattle. Doesn't... Is it? Yeah. Didn't At least it's where, like... <laughs> it's where I picked. <laughs> so oh, it's, it's where you their picked, yeah. Artist interpretation of Seattle. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't uh... think the needle is that close to tall buildings from what I remember of Seattle. I, I need to look up how to transfer. There's a way to download saves to GameCube memory cards. Because there has to mm -hmm. be a way to do that. Um, so I can, like, get some of these games. Fully, uh, with full things on them. So the other thing I want to try is I've been playing Pokemon Blue, and I want to see if uh, I I threw my Game Boy player. Is on that here. the that's the not safe for work version? Pokemon Blue. Yeah, yeah. It's that's just a, that's an okay joke. It's just it's the thin Pokemon Blue line. <laughs> 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 Oh man, I really caught you with that one. <laughs> I almost made oh, a second joke, but it's not worth it. <laughs> it's so good. What is it? Pokemon Thin Blue Line? <laughs> <laughs> it was the Thin Pokemon Blue Line. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Oh, it's the stupidest thing I've ever said. Hi, Zach. No Ian webcam because he's a lazy boy. Yeah, I don't even know if I'm going to make it the full stream today. Tired. Maybe I'll, get, maybe I'll go get a pumpkin spice latte. Yeah, are you a, a white woman now? <laughs> yeah, been one for a while. I didn't know. Oh. Okay, let's see if this works. I'm pretty sure this plays... Yeah, look at this. Screen inside a screen. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yabba, bubba, hubba, hubba. Oh, I love it. Oh, hey, so let's, before we talk about stream calendar, I should talk about my Arma experience yesterday. Oh, did you do that thingy thing? I did do that thingy thing. I'm glad I didn't do it on stream because it's not PG-13. <laughs> it's also, do that. it's a lot of like, it's like 4chan humor. It's a lot of people with 4chan humor. So not appropriate for our streams. I think there's like 15, maybe 16 people. We did the invasion of Iwo Jima, which was pretty cool. Ooh, that's there's, cool. Yeah, it turns out there's a full Iwo Jima map. So basically there was one guy running Zeus. So he's actively modifying the mission and stuff and placing enemies. And then there was, uh, I think four or five of us were in airplanes and the rest of us were infantry. I think there was like, yeah, there's about 12 of us, so it's three teams. Um, and then there was a platoon commander. Um, it was pretty crazy. So the there were some things I had to get used to. We were using two mods that I've never used before. One is called Ace. You've probably seen it before. It's very popular in the Arma community. 
it adds a whole bunch of stuff. Mm. Like, for example, one of the things it adds is you your if you start firing like a machine gun for an extended period of time, your ears will start ringing, and then you stop oh. hearing things properly. Um, it adds a huge medical system. So, like, it's not just bandages or medical kits now. It's like mm. epinephrine, morphine. You have to like check somebody's pulse. You can you do get CPR. Addicted to morphine, and then. It's oh, I don't know. But, like, I had this thing where I... There was a suicide bomber, and I got shrapnel in several of my limbs, so I bandaged up all four of my limbs. Like, you have to bandage them up individually. But by the time I did that, I, I'd lost so much blood that my, my screen was desaturated for, like, 15 minutes uh... until finally somebody with a blood bag gave me a blood transfusion. Um, and then there was another time where... I got shot and I was unconscious, but I could still hear the people around me, but they couldn't hear me. And they literally spent six minutes getting me back up. They had to like patch all my wounds, like give me epinephrine, CPR, then they gave me morphine. And then like they, they were carrying me around because we're still on the beach. And then I finally woke up after like five or six minutes. Um, so it's, it's definitely adds a lot more realism and interaction, the ACE system does, but I'm not crazy about it. It does add cool stuff like you have this whole series of hand gestures you can do now, and you can point at it at something, and it'll draw a circle on the screen of what you're pointing at, like a rough area, mm -hmm. which would help us. And you can do like hold commands and all this other stuff. But I like I don't want to do the medical system because it just seems way too much. Um, yeah. And then the other one we used was TFR, which is I forget what it stands for, but basically what it does is it combines team speak and arma so that you have proximity voice chat so you can speak and people hear you nearby and it's it's actually directionally correct and volume correct and everything but then you can also change from a whisper to a normal voice to a yelling so that you don't have to actually yell so if somebody's far away you can switch to yelling and talk and they should hear you like 30 meters away oh so but you... then there's a gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. yeah so it so it's it's just like really good proximity, but at the same time with an adjustable volume so that you can actually yell to somebody else. Or if you have a bunch of people standing ne near each other, like in a group, you can go to whisper and have a conversation with somebody next to you and not everybody around you can hear you. Um, but people have to be good with that. Some of the people weren't. So at the beginning, there was like 16 people in a single space and it was just so much voice chat going on because a lot of people had voice activated. So they're just mumbling to themselves and it's coming through at full volume and you hear them from 30 feet away. Um, but that was pretty cool. And then the other one was inside that it also has radios. So you have to carry a radio. We had a team radio going on and then our squad lead or our team lead also had platoon radio. So he's like radioing and he's like, you know, you know, team one, this is team two. Where are you at? You know, or like <laughs> platoon lead, you know, objective has been secured. What do you want us to do next? Calling in airstrikes from the guys on the airplanes, things like that, which was cool. Gotcha. Um, it was a little frustrating because... I feel like the guy who was running the mission was a little punishing. It was Iwo Jima. And if you remember, Iwo Jima is a beach landing. And on your left is Mount Servachi, which is this big rocky mountain. And then there's a beach in front of you with a bunch of trench lines. And I don't know if it was Ace or if it was the JSRS mod, but like we would hit the beach and hide behind some rocks. And the, the machine gun fire from the AI was so intense that you could not hear people next to you because it was so loud. Like, you know how you get the, you get the snap when the, yeah. or the crack when the bullet goes over you? So it was like, crack, 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 just constant. And then it had this suppression mechanic as well, where your screen is shaking and everything is blurry. And it was, it was like that for, you know, we're, we're stuck there. You know, if we're getting fire from two sides, we're pinned down, there's anti-tank guns firing at us there's there's like a dozen and a half machine gun nests firing at us and it was like all right this is kind of stupid and then the problem was our team lead granted he didn't volunteer to be team lead he got like randomly chosen because nobody else volunteered but he was just like um okay guys let's make a run for it and then we make a run for it and we all get killed immediately so then we like respawn we get back to the same the same exact spot 10 minutes later and he's like Okay, guys, and then he like throws one smoke grenade, and then he's like, "All right, let's run for it." <laughs> exactly the same way we <laughs> die, exactly the same way. But luckily, like I deliberately put myself behind the group, so there's four of us. The first two ran out; they immediately got killed. 
And I just turned around and went back into cover with the other guy. <laughs> so it was pretty intense. Um, there were a lot of good leaders on the other team, so we kind of synced up with them and followed them. And um, it was interesting because there were people who were taking it seriously and who were good. And I kind of appreciated that. But at the same time, there were people who were not. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say they weren't taking it seriously. They were not good at the game. Let me put it this way. Our small unit tactics are better than almost anything I saw on the server yesterday. Oh, really? So I'll give you an example. There was a part where there were three teams in a trench. Um, and we had already pre we, we just cleared this trench line. And there was an enemy tank that rolled up on us. And there's literally like a dozen of our guys in this trench. This enemy tank rolls up, rolls up on us. They call it out. The AT guy takes it out. And um, they're like bandaging up some people. And I'm like... I'm looking around and I realize there's nobody like pulling watch on this trench, right? So we're in this trench, but nobody's looking out. Out of the 12 people, nobody's looking. And I'm like, okay. So I start looking both sides. And like a minute later, oh, thanks for the sub, Sergeant Afro. Yes, thank you. Um, like a minute later, I see this Japanese guy run up with a pistol. He's standing over the trench and he starts firing. And I turn around and I start shooting him. And, there, and there's a guy next to me. And I'm having to shoot over the guy's head to get this guy who is literally standing next to the trench full of 12 guys. And I am the only one shooting at him. <laughs> and I take him out. The guy was there to get off like six pistol shots. I don't think he took anybody out. But I was just like, I was like, there's a guy right there, guy right there. And I took him out. And then I was like, are we not watching our sectors? And people were like, oh, I don't know. And I was like, <laughs> what's a sector? And then, like, ten, like nobody moves, and then I move up to the trench, and I look towards where the guy came from, and there's another guy 20 feet away, and I take him out. And I was just like, what are we doing? And the platoon leader's next to me, and he's like, hey, good job, Gibson. Can you go verify that corpse? And I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a corpse. So it was weird. Like, there were people who were great at, like, commanding. There were people who knew the system, and there were people getting kills, but there were very few people who were actually good at, like, Hey, watch your sectors, watch your spacing. So it was it was a little weird. It makes me feel better about our arm experiences. You know, like I feel like we're a lot better. Yeah. Um, so so it's the other thing is I was on it for like three and a half hours and I left early. I think it lasted another 45 minutes. Um so it's it was a fun experience. I think big ops are fun because like there was like four landing crafts heading towards the beach at the beginning. And you get within a click and all of a sudden the enemy guns open up and it was crazy. A lot of fun. Um, I'm just not crazy about how this particular group experience went, but it was still still pretty good. Um, and then getting to use some of the more popular mods was was eye opening to see what people play with. Yeah, because if you expect me to like sit there unconscious for six minutes until I either bleed out or somebody revives me and them reviving me takes six minutes, then I'm like, I don't I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, great experience. World War II mod, great. Iwo Jima map, great. Some of the ace medical, the ace stuff I would, I would love to incorporate in our stuff. Um, but yeah. Sweet, that Good sounds experience. awesome. <clears throat> yeah, I'm glad you, you went to try it to see what it was like. Um... Anyways, uh, yeah, I, I think I think if we could find a PG thirteen one or a one that seems a little bit more welcoming in a way or easier for us to slot in, I think it would be fun to do a stream of us three doing one of those. I think it almost requires us to do, even though we don't want to, to do one of the more milsem oriented groups because they would be better at like, all right, you are a squad of four, check your sectors, here's what you're doing. Which I think we actually prefer that level of playing versus yesterday where it was just like a huge mess and people are dying left and right and it's punishing to respawn and it's yeah. just like what are we doing you know uh, i'm running into battle anyways um, i see you're playing the hobbit yes so uh, i just want to say so game boy i, I want to do a stream with all my game boy games so i just wanted to check that that game boy player i was afraid it wouldn't play like game boy color or original game boy games but it does so saving that for another time uh and now i'm just going through my gamecube games to find the weird stuff. I, Resident Evil 4, I don't need to touch. This Hobbit one, I had brought to Extra Life 
I think last year, but I hadn't we hadn't gotten a chance to try it. So I just want to see what it is. I, I was trying to look to see when this came out. 2003. Vivendi. Uh, so this would have been after Lord of the Rings 1 and 2, but not uh -huh. um, 3. And also, I, I'm pretty sure this has nothing to do... Like, I wonder how this got licensed out during that. Because I, I, I don't mean, think New Line Cinema or... Uh, I, I bet they did. I mean, I remember there being a whole bunch of Lord of the Rings games. No, no, I remember all the Lord of the Rings games, but I wonder, they didn't... I don't think they had the rights to The Hobbit, so I wonder if someone approached mm. and said, hey, these Lord of the Rings games are doing really good in the movies. What if we made a Hobbit game? Look at this. Yeah. This actually oh. looks not bad. This looks pretty good for a game. Yeah. There's like 20 people on screen right now. And yeah, it's that's... running really well. I don't even think like a base Xbox One or PS4 could do this well. Oh, this music's I mean, pretty good too. Ghost of Tsushima chugged at the opening scene, which is basically this, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> I need to not. I need I, to like, have bought that physically so I could trade it in somehow. I'm, I'm, I'm like not itching to get back to it, but I think about like going to play it. I'll get to it in in due time. Thankfully, that's a pretty easy. That's the problem I have with the Spider-Man game is I can't just go back to it because I have to remember everything. But I feel like Ghost of Tsushima uh, is pretty easy to get back into. At least the sword play. Okay, running away. I have no um, yeah, I could see that. Spider Man's not that hard to get back into. I mean, as long as you're not going to. Uh, the combat, I could see the, the combat, combat is the hard part. Yeah, combat, it, it took me a little bit to get used to the combat in the first place, so I could definitely see going back, you know. Kind of... Where... oh, so, anyways, that, that, um, that arm up. Ops server, yeah. I'll give them a shout out. They do missions every Tuesday, Thursday, but their Tuesday missions, I think, are like they're at 2 p.m. Eastern, which is a bit too early. They're doing World War II Czechoslovakia versus Germany this weekend. Ooh. I mean, uh, this Tuesday. But anyways, yeah, it's, it's a fun experience. But I, I think I kind of wish we were bigger because then it'd be easier to reach out to some of these groups like Shack Tack, et cetera. I'd be like, hey, we want to like show off your group and just do a, you know, like a one off experience, stream it, you know, something like that. Um, But yeah, we should talk about streams. Yes. Pull up, pull up the stream calendar. So Tuesday. Uh, we originally had Crusader Kings three, but I think I, I think we do Tuesday. I think we do Brothers in Arma. Yeah, and I Thursday. Yeah, thir Thursday. I'm gonna put Crusader Kings three because I'm just gonna kind of leave it as we don't know. Let's see what the response is because no, I can't believe that game is out in two days and nobody's talking about it. So thir we'll stream it Thursday if it's worth it, unless we come up with something better. Um, yeah. Saturday is Tony Hawk's pro, is Tony Hawk's pro Skater one and two. A dream, but what an uh, Sunday is D and D Part Four. Oh, you know what? Well, oh. we do have something else non-stream related planned for this weekend, but it may just require Tony Hawk's to get moved. That's all. Bilbo agreed to go. Let's you know without discussing it. When are we doing that? Is that that's what I was going to ask you? Is that Saturday or Monday? It could be either or. Um, well, I, I I don't think I'm working Monday. I haven't asked my boss if we're not working, but I, I'm pretty much going to say I'm not going to work that Monday. Yeah, but but we need to use that equipment, don't we? Yeah, but it, it's all there. Oh, but what I'm saying is, if they're working on Monday, then. No, nobody's nobody would be working Monday. If okay. like, I'm pretty sure George and Chris are gonna ask for it off too. We're the only three who okay. work there. Okay, yeah. So let's shoot for. You know, what? I kind of want to say let's shoot for Saturday, and then we can push to Monday if something comes up. 
Yeah, that's fine with me. And, and I think I'm just going to plan to, well, we can talk about it offline, but I think we just, we've got several things to do that day. Go up, get it done, leave. All good. Yes. Um, but that means we may not stream Saturday, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, but I could always stream that Friday. You know what? Maybe I'll stream. I'm going to move that to Friday at 5 p.m. Okay. Go meet the dwarves at the Green Dragon. Oh, you know what else comes out on Friday? What? Uh, Marvel's Avongers. <gasps> oh, Marvel's Avocados. I, for some reason, I kind of want to play that game, but I really don't want to buy it. Or I want to play that game for five ninety nine from the yes. Best Buy bargain bin. Yes, I want to play it when it has its No Man's Sky comeback, where everybody says where they they put out so many apology patches that it <laughs> ends up being good. They were also like talking about all the characters. I'm like, oh, those would be cool to see the softcore porn versions of my favorite characters. Yes, <laughs> yes, because you cannot see that right now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't exist. Yeah, I've tried. I, I Google um, a lot. So I, I'm, I'm gonna copy out Brothers and Arma until the end of September. Yeah. I think what I think it's going pretty well. I think we still have plenty of variety to do. So I think I think we're okay. I I played a um, I played a different mission generator, and dynamic recon ops is great, but it definitely has its limitations in a way. But I played this one. I only played it for fifteen minutes, but in that fifteen minutes, I saw my objective, started driving towards my objective, ran into a checkpoint. The checkpoint called for reinforcements brought in the forces from the objective and it was like a tank and an apc Ooh. and it, it just felt much more dynamic than dynamic recon ops it felt like when we got spotted and in a firefight we were actually in trouble because more guys were showing up because of us um and i don't really think we've gotten that dynamic recon ops yeah i, I don't know why but this game just let me pick up this this is a butter churn <laughs> yeah it looks like a butter churn <laughs> It looks like a good game. It, it's it's surprisingly way more than I thought it would be. Yeah, I kind of want to play it, like actually play it. Getting um, the here. Isn't there the a Lord of the Rings anniversary coming up? I can't um, remember. maybe. Okay, so heading forward, next Thursday, uh, I'm gonna continue doing D and D every two weeks. Yeah, that's fine. At 1 p.m. That seems to be fine. Kids do not respect Bilbo's time. Children. Um. So next Thursday we have a gap. Yep. 26th of September. I'm putting in Mafia Definitive Edition because I will definitely be picking that up. What Mafia? Yeah, it looks Sarcasm. real good. Did you ever play the original Mafia? Oh, you know what? What's the one they delayed because it wasn't the remaster wasn't good? That was the one that had that. That was two, right? Yeah, I think it was two. Where it didn't, they, the remaster they made aesthetic choices that made it look worse yeah. than the original. They because they announced Mafia One remastered and then said here's two remastered. Yes, and then they said they said. It was two and three together as a quote unquote remaster, but three was really just three with. I don't even think it had HD textures. I think it was just with the DLC and stuff. Gotcha. That's what I was thinking of when you just said all that. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's weird. The Mafia Definitive Edition, I believe, is being made by the Mafia Three developers, which is weird because Mafia Three was not a good game. It had great story. It looked good, but the gameplay was very questionable, and it had a loop that was awful. Um. But Mafia, but them just going off of Mafia 1, but remaking it with improved graphics and stuff, I'm actually very excited for it. Because the first, yeah. one's a, first one's a great game. Yeah, I've never played it. Is that the one? Actually, I might have played it at a friend's house because I remember driving around um, and could collect, like, Playboy magazines? Was that what it was? Yes, but uh, that may be Mafia. That I don't know if that was in two. Mafia 1. It's definitely in 2. Maybe it was but two. Mafia 1... I think it was one of the first where you, you would get speeding tickets. You have to drive around and obey the lights and the, the speed limit. If you don't, then you get 
tickets if the police see you. That's awesome. It's it's really good. It had a nice like a lot of different mission variety and stuff. It was great. I feel like obeying traffic laws is a system <coughs> that really has to be balanced well to be fun. Yes, and this one this one had good balance. It was only game. if the police see you, and I think you could also press a button to peg your speedometer at the speed limit. I just said that sentence and Karen was looking at me and then I said, in a video game, she goes, oh. <laughs> How's your pork shoulder, uh, Karen? It's halfway through, everybody. Congratulations. Anyways, you were saying. Um, so Thursdays are open. I feel like it's time to get back to server quest. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, so the only thing is, I think that means that you would be hosting both Tuesdays and Thursdays. Because I, I I can't really get my my dedicated server, I cannot get running with Arma. And I don't think it's good for me to stream and host game. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, alright, uh, so I'm going to put... Maybe I'll just make you do all the social... Uh, from now on, yeah, I could you're the that. only one who's allowed to name streak. Or else I get too angry. <laughs> I think I think you can get better at naming. It's just No, I, I can I can name them the way yeah. you want them to be named, but I don't want to name them the way you want them to be named. <laughs> I think there's a middle I think there's definitely a middle way. It's just it's just like you go full joke and it's like that ain't gonna get nobody. <laughs> oh, I love They're it. funny. They're funny, but they ain't getting nobody. It's Zach like, texted me about that. He's like, what was your title? And I told him, he goes, that's way funnier. And I go, I know. We agree it's way it's, funnier. Ian's was more right, yeah. though. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I think I think part of our, a lot of our early poly with Subpixel is that we model ourselves after, after websites and channels with established fan bases. Yeah. Like, Giant Bomb is lazy. I'm just going to say it. Giant Bomb's pretty lazy with oh, their video yeah. content. But they get away with it because they have a dedicated fan base. If we're starting out, we can't we can't be that lazy, you know. <laughs> and that's a mistake. It's taken us years to figure out. Uh, uh, what was I gonna look up? Uh, okay, I think I'm yeah. done with the Hobbit right now. I'm gonna save I, just in case. I can, yeah, I can do that. If 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 you guys are okay with, because I'm already picking. I don't want to say that I'm picking the missions, but lately I've been setting up the mods and the missions anyways because I have to have them for the server. So then I'll go ahead and just set everything up and then you host it. Yeah. You can, um, if you give me the, I can make the thumbnail still. I have all the files. Yes. So yeah. if you just get that, yeah, the problem is I have to have it on the day before because I can't do it during the day of. Oh, okay. Yeah. That reminds me, Zach, if you're still here, you know, let's do, maybe let's do some World War II stuff. This Tuesday. What do you think, Will? Yeah, yeah that's fine. Hey, the uh, server quest. Is that in the show schedules, Doc? Yes. I want to know what the next game is. And you've highlighted in yellow everything that is ready to go, right? Yes. I think the next game is Second Life. Really? And according to this list, we have 21 left. So I, I think we've got to do... What was I think we've got to do four or five in a row. Wasn't it EVE Online? Isn't okay, that yeah, that was did? what Jake and I did. Was it really Second Life? No, it was Toontown we did last, right? I don't know. I, I think you... Oh, it's hidden. Give me a second. At least I think it's... Or no, maybe it's not. I may have been messing around with that file. Man, I have SSX. Actually, this might be Karen's. Yeah, Toontown. Yeah, Toontown. You and I, or I played it and you were watching. That's what I... Yes. And I have Wind Waker. I really want to play it. I've never played Wind Waker. Uh, it's kind of fun. It's weird. It's open world, but it's, it feels like a giant open world that's a little bit empty. Yeah. I, I want to get the Wii U version or, heaven forbid, the um, which version if they ever do that. It says this game is Game Boy Advance compatible. I don't, 
I don't know what that means. Oh, yeah, I think it ties into was it Four Swords or Spirit Tracks that it tied into? Probably Four Swords. Well, no, Spirit. Spirit. Yeah, Spirit Tracks. Yeah. This is a game we need to stream sometime is uh Eternal Darkness. Very well regarded GameCube game. Is it scary enough to be yeah. uh your I don't spooky pixel? It's it's way it's more more weird than spooky. At least as far as I remember. Oh, that's coming up, isn't it? That's like two months away. Okay. I Spooky think that's pixel. most of the weird GameCube games I have. Uh, that reminds me. I need to get you that. Um, uh, what's it called? The GoPro setup for Spooky Pixel. Yes. Hey, did um, you get that? Did you send the camera to Kyle? No, not yet. Okay, can you do that immediately? <laughs> yes, I'm going to. Okay. Because at, at, at this rate, it's going to be like three months before I get that oh, footage. Yeah. yeah. I, I might shoot some more stuff later today. I feel like I haven't shot enough. Well, how, mu- uh, uh, how much roughly? I mean, the episodes are like scan lines, so it's like seven to ten minutes. Yeah. I should go look at the tape. I feel like it's a lot of B-roll and not a lot of me like actually filming things. Well, I do some montages, so worst case, it's a four minute episode. I'm just going to work with what I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm just going to shoot some more stuff uh, and then I'll send it. I'm going to send it out this week. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let me switch over to N64. Okay, so we just have some Saturdays open. Let me just run through it real quick. Basically, this week is Brothers in Arma, Crusader Kings, and D&D. And then from there on out, it's Brothers in Arma and Server Quest. With, I think there's one open Saturday. Actually, yeah, we're doing good. There's only one stream not scheduled for September. Boom. What are we thinking? Um... the 12th I don't the only thing coming out around that time is Kingdom of Amalur but I don't feel like doing anything with that game yeah I might get it I'm not sure um what's something we haven't done in a while something we haven't done in a while Subpixel Inc. We've talked about, but I we're not ready to launch that right. yet. Right, but I think our okay. most recent great idea is pretty good. Yes, yes. Um, hmm. This game. Uh, we could do. We could do like a co-op game. Or actually, uh, do, are there any of those dead multiplayer games? No, oh, okay. I don't think that was a good series. I think it was. I think we got real lucky with Brink. <laughs> no, yeah, but That's I wonder it. if there's anything else like Brink. I'm gonna I'm gonna look on Game Pass real quick to see if we've. You know, I have been playing uh, Halo 5. Yay, Nintendo 6. You've been playing Halo 5? I've been playing Halo 5. Yeah, it's pretty... It's terrible. pretty good. It's No, it's not terrible. I really don't. I I don't... I don't think it's terrible. I think it's it's just not quite innovative enough. But it's still... It's still a great shooter you know like it still feels good it's yeah it still feels real good actually okay i'm looking for oh you know what let's do more microsoft flight sim on the 12th 
Uh, yeah, that works. Don't have cart. I love Lego Ring. No, Jake loves it as well. But I love. Hey, can it I say something real quick? More. I think I've played it once. Actually, you know what? I've never. I don't think I've ever played Lego Racers. I've only played the racing in Lego Island, which is God. bad. It's real bad. Um, I only ever played this on PC. What's your favorite kart racer? Kart racer? Probably Mario Kart. All time. Which one? Eight. Uh, but yeah, I have I, a I think soft spot for DS. Critical. DS is real good. DS is good. Really good. Like um, what about non-Mario Kart? Uh, probably Lego Racer. Um, but I haven't played many others. I'm trying to think of any other game I've really played. Uh, Mario plus Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's not Mario and Sonic. It's just Sonic. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's it's Sonic and Sega All-Stars mm -hmm. Racing Transformed. That's right. Mario and Sonic is the Olympics. Olympics. Yeah. Um... What I was going to say is, as far as moving away from kart racers, what's your favorite all-time racing game? You know, I think it's iRacing. It's very niche, but mm -hmm. the, the feel of it, the accuracy, but also the way they've set up the online multiplayer where it's like a licensed system and there's strict penalties and stuff, it, it makes the, the racing very intense but also very fair there's there's no dive bombing there's no crazy stuff like that because if you do that you're basically banned from the game mm -hmm. so it's and and also like having to learn the track and these are real world tracks like the f1 race today was at um, in belgium at spa franc -Rochon. that's the the track that i did the 24 hours of endurance racing at so like i know that track really really well so like when they were going through the analysis and they're like oh this guy spun out at this corner and i'm like oh yeah that's an off-camber corner that's a tough corner to do you know it's like i i now know a real world track so it's it's definitely eye racing it, it, it's just it's hard to go back to like forza games where they're just a bit too arcadey mm -hmm. and it's hard to go back to other games that are that are either they have no progression system, so you're just playing like multiplayer matches. They're serious games, but they're just playing multiplayer matches. And it's like, so what? Whereas iRacing actually has like a, a licensing system that you're progressing through. And it's hard to go back to games like Forza, where the quote unquote campaign is you just like getting to race faster cars across more tracks. It just feels very stale. Um. Yeah. So it's it's basically ruined realistic racing games for me. Except for Gran Turismo Sport. Gran Turismo Sport still has fantastic presentation, content layout, and driving feel. But I think I'm done with Forza games. They're just not good. <laughs> they're just not good in comparison. They're they're the best racing game on Xbox, but yeah. you go outside of that and they're just not good. Uh, do you have a favorite racing game growing up? Uh, I always loved Mario Kart. Probably 64. 64 is crazy. I didn't even have an N64. Mm -hmm. But I loved it so much that I played it with friends all the time. And I really liked Project Gotham Racing 3, which if I'm not mistaken was an Xbox 360 launch title. Yes, I think I have it. Yeah, I got it at launch and it just impressed me so much and I really enjoyed playing it. I think that's mostly it. I played a lot of San Francisco Rush. Mm -hmm. I played a lot of uh, Midtown Madness. Oh, I played a lot of that demo. That's crazy. Um, and then Burnout. I played on so much Burnout. I was never that crazy about Burnout. I think because it was just a bit too arcadey for me. I am currently Michael Schumacher. I'm doing very well. What track is this? Don't tell me what track this is. I'm going to guess it. 
I, I couldn't tell you <laughs> if I wanted to. <laughs> I know the country. It kind of looks like... No, this can't be. What are the controls? Is there, a, is there a left? Left? Oh, it's not Canada. It's not Canada, right? No, it's not Canada. Okay. It's just the opening section looked a lot like Canada. Is it? It's possible this could be a racetrack they don't race on, anymore, right? Yeah, it's entirely possible. But I'm not giving up yet. Katayama. I do not know the control. Oh, it's cool to show the sand on my team. I do not know the control. Oh, that is game. cool. It, like, seems to slow me down by itself sometimes. That's kind of nice. That's, that's like a standard aid in driving games. Put a piano on the back. Room. Is this Germany? Mm -mm. Oh, Qantas. Is this Adelaide in Australia? Close, right country. I mean, it could be Adelaide. I, I saw a. Wait, okay, wait a minute. City. Well, maybe it's. Okay, wait. It, uh, I'm not saying it's Melbourne, but that's the other possibility I have in mind. But I. Okay, that that looks like the start to Melbourne, but let me let me keep looking. Let me keep looking. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. We got a long, wide open right. A long one. But then this is a right. Oh, is this Melbourne? Yes. I don't remember them having this many stands in Melbourne. Um, it said Australia at the beginning, and then one of these signs up here says Melbourne. Yeah, Melbourne and, and uh, Canada are very similar because they're both around a lake. Oh, boy. Uh, Hi, uh -oh. My, name is, my name is Daddy, and I'm tired. Daddy's time. Vroom, vroom. Coca-Cola. Uh, yeah, I, I felt like I lost a day yesterday. Uh, I mean, it was a fun day. I, I got to eat good food and hang out at parents' parents' house. But I feel like I lost a day working on, like, getting some stuff done. Mm -hmm. um, I I felt pretty good because I took off Friday. Oh, right. And, and then I took a... It was like... It was like 95 degrees on Friday, but I was like, screw it. And I took like a two hour shopping trip in the Miata, Ooh. which was fun. Um, I went to a hobby store down in Laurel and I got a bunch of good stuff. It was actually really nice because there was a lot of stuff I could have just bought online, but I'm trying not to buy as much off Amazon because uh, Amazon sucks. Mm -hmm. And... And I was like, let me go check out what this store has. And they actually had a lot that I need. So I think I actually have to go back. I have a big project planned. I cannot discuss it publicly because it's actually a surprise. Ah. But um, involves airbrush, involves paints, involves a kit. So I, I was able to get a bunch of stuff from that store. And uh, it's only like, you know, it's, I tell you what, COVID's great because uh, <laughs> no, tra no traffic. So this store that is li literally this store if I tried to drive at this to the store between the hours of 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. and 3:30 and 6:30 p.m., it would take an hour to get there. Yeah. So basically, like the two main traffic hours, even even like non-traffic hours, it would probably take 45 minutes to get there. But because there's no traffic, it takes like 35 minutes. <laughs> so it's great. That's fantastic. Um, yeah, so now the store that is typically like an hour drive is now basically 35 minutes away because of COVID traffic. So 
I'm excited to go down there. I'll probably join their loyalty program. Like I said, no. And then I was like, wait, what does it give you? And they were like, well, it gives you like 10% off after like $300 or something. And I was like, yeah, I can hit that. I can hit that. <laughs> <laughs> I can hit that. They also had, they had a big Gundam selection, man. I was very surprised. They probably had like a hundred plus different Gundam kits there. It was insane. And yeah, I saw I like there. three or four. Yeah. Next time you're down, we'll go. I saw like three or four kits that I wanted to buy that I have on my, my list that I want to buy. And I was like, no, no, no. I just bought a bunch of stuff. I don't need these right now. I'll come back later and get them. But the prices were good too. Um, They had a mega, they had a mega grade. I'm sorry, not a mega grade. They had a master grade gun cannon for like 35 bucks, which I think is better than it is online. I almost picked it up too. That sounds dope. Yeah. So it's like a tiny little store, but they had just like the perfect selection. They had all, all the Tamiya paints that I needed, all this stuff. So yeah, so that was nice because Friday I kept thinking it was Saturday, but then I was like, oh no, I still have two more days. And then yesterday I think I did. Uh, I did some Gunpla, started a new kit. Good stuff. Fancy. I know. I wanted to start a new kit this weekend, but really, my desk is so crowded because I have my <clears throat> my flight stick over here in case we're gonna do a stream. But I guess I can put it away if we're not gonna do one until. Oh yeah, I put mine away. Together. And then, well, it's it's the box underneath my lamp, so I have to like put it in there. Oh no! I I just got rid of my box and I just threw it. Um, I mean, I, I put it on top of a bookcase somewhere. Then I, I just, I have all this Gundam stuff on my desk. Um, <clears throat> I need to clean it. Uh, I was also looking at uh, getting a case, an actual case for my mister. Um, getting that just so it's like has a fan and it's all set up and everything. Wow, this game has a. Okay, so I, I booted up Resident Evil 2 because I like the remake so much. I have it mm -hmm. for N64. So, first of all, you can choose Leon or Claire, but then you can choose original or randomizer. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's like, what is that called for Link to the Past, where it's like, a, it randomizes all yeah. the chests and everything? You know, they have like Link to the Past and Metroid randomized. So you like Damn. get items in Metroid to use in Link to the Past. <laughs> oh my God. Like that's bonkers. What color should the blood much. be? Blue, green, or red? I think I might have to go green. Pretty. Uh, okay, so Tuesday's Arma mission. Do you want to do World War II, or do you want to do Afghanistan? Uh, I I want to see World War II, so I would, I would probably pick that. Okay, but, we can do that. Um, yeah, it's completely up to you. I think, I think the difficulty I'm finding now is that a lot of the missions are not geared towards smaller groups, or if they are, then they're like action-packed short missions. So then you're relying on the dynamic simulators, and most of them are dynamic recon ops, which I, I think we're definitely starting to hit the boundaries of. Oh, no. So, you know what? I'll look it up right now. Daddy ain't doing nothing. Oh, no. I'm at three workshop. Game's already terrible. Oh no, get off me! Get off me! Ice cream man's here. Yeah, it's a lovely day out today. The Jersey City. Like oh yeah, it's nice out. Breezy. Try not to leave the house though, but it's very nice out. Yeah, we went for a brief <laughs> walk through the park. That's disgusting. Farmer's market's out there. Didn't get any. Oh, made it. Oh. Game's weird. Was oh, this like Wait. the gas station? Yeah. Oh no, it's the gun Who guy. Are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire. I'm a human. I mean, this is pretty cool for N64. We also got to do Zeus at some point. Yes, I know Anime Girl wants us to play there. 
or even just one of us, you know. Yeah, to try it out. I'm down. Yeah, I think I think the problem with one of us is that it, it then drops it down to a two player mission. But I I think it would be interesting to have. I'm trying to think of how. I think it would be whoever Zeus is streaming their view because you can also like zoom in on the players, but they also get the audio from the players. But Zeus and the players are not talking to each other. Yeah. So that way it's like it's like literally like you're a game master. Like you are you can hear everything they say, you're interacting with what they're doing, and we're streaming from that view. Yeah. I've never asked, but I um I don't know if Josh has armor three. I think he'd be willing to play. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, I don't care what you're saying to me, sir. Quest 64. Here we go. I've always wanted... I think this is my cousin's game. I've always wanted to like this game or at least play it longer <clears throat> than the five minutes that I go Ugh. it's very like mm -hmm. trying to be Ocarina of Time it had a weird like battle system though that has like um there's like circles it's like your area of attack that you can like in your turn you run around in a circle yeah um, Wasteland 3, did you, um, that was, uh, when you were saying Crusader Kings 3, saying, like, that's not getting a ton of fanfare. Like, I, I didn't see many people other than on the RPG subreddit talking about Wasteland 3 coming out. Apparently it's pretty good. I heard it fared pretty well on Metacritic so far. Oh yeah, I think it got, like, 80% or something. Yeah, it was at 85 when someone made a post about it. They were like, has anyone tried it yet? And people were like, yeah, it's good. So I have it downloaded. It was what, 38 gigs. Um, I'm going to, I wanted to jump into that on Friday and I didn't get a chance. Um, because I was just buying games on BOG. I'm yeah. Gonna, but uh, I want to try that. I also downloaded um, Spirit Fairer and I played about an hour of that. That game's pretty fun. Um, enjoying like the story and the art style and kind of what they're doing there, but I haven't I haven't gotten too far into it. And then um, one other thing I downloaded that I can't remember right now, but pretty much all I'm really playing. Occasionally checking in on Dwarf Fortress. Uh, had a a guy or a girl I don't actually know. Join us on our community Discord, and uh, was pretty good about chatting, giving me advice there. So, I'm gonna check out a bunch yeah. of that stuff. They're super helpful. Which, folks, if you're not part of our community Discord, I have since upgraded it. We got a new bot that has successfully posted when this stream went live, um, and they should successfully post when our videos go up. And then I made some game talk channels just because I didn't want to clog. Like if someone has more advice for me, I didn't want to clog up general with uh, a mm -hmm. bunch of, like, Dwarf Fortress stuff, so I put an Arma yeah, one that's... there as well for suggestions from people. Um, and I figure we can just slowly add stuff. But yeah. We're getting successful enough that I need to... <laughs> that we need to at least look at our community server a little bit more than <laughs> just setting it up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's, like, insights for it now. But it, it, there's a there's a thing where like you can make your uh, server discoverable and so I clicked on it. it's like sorry you don't have 10,000 uh, users on it yet and I'm like no I do not <laughs> um, no. Uh, so where are we at with the stream schedule we good I think we're good for the next month we did it for the next month okay yeah we don't have any gaps it's basically Arma Tuesday server quest Thursdays and then Saturday is D&D &D or the floater which works because most game releases on Fridays now. So, yeah, and I'm excited it's just about Oc Tony Hawk. Oh shoot! You know what? Spooky Pixel is in a month. I forgot. It's the entire month of October. Yeah. So I'll I'll bring you the GoPro. Okay. Because. Yeah. 
the only yeah well i'll just i'll bring the cam link as well so that you can oh but then i won't have the cam link for extra life but that's well that's not it's fine i can always send it back to you yeah because the only thing is um you can hook the gopro up to elgato but it means you can't run console games mm. yeah spooky pixel should be good well, I think That's I'm going to call it here. I've, I've exhausted my... Yeah, I got to poop. And you got to poop. Folks, thanks for mm -hmm. tuning in. That was fun. I just needed to play some relaxing games. Um, anyways, we are Subpixel, subpixelfilms.com. I'm Hunt270. That's at ThinkGibson on Twitter. Bye. 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 <laughs>